Hello and welcome to another video tutorial with Macken of Sweden. Today we're going to make a gravel soil industry land. Yes. This is a, just a basic uh, 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 ground covering method. Very suitable for, for industries in era 3 or, or 4. Uh, even earlier than that as well. And in small countryside stations and in train yards. So there are a number of environments where, where this uh, method can be uh, applied. Uh, I will also uh, add like uh, static grass and stuff in the, in, the, in the edges of this area to, uh, to like frame it, frame it in. So you get the kind of a nice look you, you're, you're looking for. So uh, nothing to wait for. Let's get started. This is the area I will work with. It's a styrofoam base area, but it could also be wood. I start off by plastering. Then I use uh, tools for plastering. The purpose with the plaster is to get a smooth and a level area to work with. Once the plaster is in place, I leave it to dry and go outside to look for gravel. It could either be found here or here. The size gravel we're looking for is like dust, so very very fine. And we do not need much. And then I pour it through a sieve. This is a standard sieve for a household cooking. And then I get the finer gravel. Now, this gravel was kind of wet and tacky, so I want to dry it a bit before I run it through the finer sieve. This time I will run it through a nylon sock. This will separate the kind of dust small particle gravel, which will be used as a topping, from the more coarse gravel, which I will use as a roadside gravel. Depending on what type of environment you are modeling, the color of the gravel might not be correct. So here I am adding yellow ochre in the gravel to get a more soft warm tone. And then I add also grey because I want it to be a bit brighter in color. Once the gravel has the desired color, I pour it into a little can which is suitable for application later. Uh, the label doesn't hurt either. The more coarse gravel is put in another container which will suit as mixed side roadside gravel. Let's put these aside for a minute and paint the area. Here I use burnt umber, yellow and white acrylic paint. I mix the three colors until I have a kind of ugly brownish yellow tone and then I add both a bit of water and also wood glue, PVA glue. Now let's cover the entire area with this glue paint mix. Then it's time to put this fine topping in place. I do cover the entire area with the topping. At this moment uh, the topping looks a bit darker, but that's because we have glue in the paint and the paint will get darker when dry. I now also apply some turf. I start with a earth blend in the edges of the industrial area like this. Then I go over to Woodland Scenic Green Blend. Once this is done, I use a big soft round brush and I push the turf into the glue paint mix, like this. Alright, so here's the area when dry. I'm now making a thinned a PVA glue mix. It contains from glue, obviously, some soap, to reduce the water tension and water as a thinner. 
I then cover the entire area with this uh, very thin glue mix. The purpose is to seal the creation and make sure that uh, all of the gravel and the turf really gets stuck. When the glue has dried, I mark the position of all the buildings, trees, bushes and everything I will have in this area. And then in the desired areas, I weather the surface to get a bit of structures, maybe some wheel marks and stuff in the surface that you want to have there. Once that done, I apply static grass, first in turfs like this, and then around the turfs, some lower grass like this. And this is the final result. Well, so with these uh, six components, it's like uh, three types of static grass, the gravel and some uh, bushes. You will get pretty far down the road getting a realistic ground covering for your industry sites. Uh, if you like this video, please help me by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification once next video goes live. Until that happens, see ya! Merklin of Sweden is also available on the following media platforms. MRRTutorials.com Complete video listing sorted on the topic. Facebook. Here you find the latest and greatest with Merklin of Sweden. All new videos are also published here. Instagram. Snapshot from the miniature world. Pinterest. Links to cool miniature stuff. And Google+. Here you will also find the latest and greatest as well as new video releases.